Good afternoon. I'm Tom Green from Averon. It's fantastic to be here just a few weeks after closing our Series A. So, raise your hand if you're not afraid of being hacked. I don't see any hands up, so either you're all too smart to tempt fate, or you're all too sleepy after that buffet lunch. Either way, so far this year, in the US alone, there have been 975 corporate hacks. 70% of hacks come in through the front door, with hackers using stolen login credentials to get in. What if I told you that at Averon, we can eliminate that 70% by using your customers' physical cell phones as an extra layer of security? Give me the next six minutes, and I'll change your whole outlook on security. Three key points. One, with Averon, you don't just need a username and password, you need your physical cell phone, too. Two, we identify that physical cell phone the same way the carriers do for billing, so it's extremely secure. And three, it's completely seamless for the user. There's nothing to download and no codes to install. So we created an example bank login for today's demo. So we're now going to log in, and you can see I'm in my account. I've got $500. Sadly, I don't think that's going to be enough for today's new iPhone. What I'd like to do now is ask for your help with this demo to prove that it's real. So does anyone have their cell phone with them? I'm assuming the answer is yes. If you do and you'd be willing to help, please take your cell phone out and go to the URL on the screen here, which is fin.averon.com and log into my account. My uh, password, my uh, username is Tom, and my password is 123. So what we're doing here is allowing you to log in with Averon authentication switched off. We don't have any other layers of security live either, such as a challenge question. One benefit of this is I don't have to tell you about my first crush, Jill. Sorry, Jill. So as you can see now on the screen, your login attempts are all coming up, and they're all in green because you are able to get in. Now we're going to switch on Averon authentication. Hearing that sound means Averon authentication is now on, which means that you can only get in from the device we have here up in stage. What we're doing now as you try to log on is we're getting your cell phone number from the carriers, and we're comparing that with the number on the registered device. If they do not match, you cannot get in. We're live today with all US carriers, including Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. We're deeply integrated with the carriers. We're getting the information from the SIM in the same way the carriers do it for billing. That's a technology that's proven and authorizes a trillion dollars a year in cell phone billings. So it's extremely secure. As you try to get in now, you can see that the login attempts are now appearing on the screen again, except they're now in red, because you can't get in. Because with Averon, you have to enter the right credentials from the right device. So thank you for your help with the demo. You can now put your cell phones away. Finnovate badge holders, what you're about to witness is using the identity enshrined in the SIM card of a mobile device to authenticate a mobile login. Make no mistake, this is new. Make no mistake, this is revolutionary. So here we go. John here on stage is entering the credentials from the right device. It's checking. There's a match. And ladies and gentlemen, we are in. So think about this scenario. Suppose your user's credentials are stolen in a hack on a different website outside financial services. Because users often share passwords, reuse passwords across sites, now your user's accounts are at risk. With Averon, though, the hackers cannot get in because they do not have access to the user's device. It's also much more secure than entering an SMS code, which is annoying for the user. But more importantly, SMS is not a secure technology. It can be hacked in several different ways and has been. The National Institute of Standards and Technology has said that SMS two-factor authentication will no longer be allowed. SMS was a workaround for a while, but it's not secure. Averon is secure. Let me summarize three simple points that change the game on security. One, with Averon, your username and password are not enough. You need the actual device. Two, 
we identify that device the same way the carriers do it for billing, which is extremely secure, and much more so than other ways of identifying a device. Three, it's completely seamless for the user. There's no apps to install or download. There are no codes to enter, nothing to do. This was a live demo. This technology works and is up and running in production today. We are already in integration and pilot with several of the world's largest payment and fintech brands. And our objective is to become the global gold standard for authentication. So whether you're a bank or a fintech or any company with users logging in and accessing funds or sensitive information, your login process is a target for hackers. With Averon, we can stop them at the front door. At Averon, we authenticate users through the device, and we can do that in combination with any other kind of auth, such as bio. Imagine the possibilities for a moment if you can be sure who a user is on their cell phone. You can make any transaction more secure and easier for the user, such as making a payment, making a purchase, registering on a website, even voting in an election. We can fight cybercrime, reduce fraud. We can increase conversion rates by helping your customers to be authentic. Averon, be authenticated. Be authentic. Thank you.